the Zarentine warships tore through Earth's atmosphere, unleashing hell as their weapons scorched the planet's surface. Commander Donald Murphy watched in horror as the invaders, aided by the traitorous Galactic Council, bombarded major cities from orbit. Infrastructure crumbled, and panic gripped the streets as Earth's defenses, caught off guard by the Zarentine's cloaking technology, quickly fell to the superior firepower. Murphy, a battle-hardened soldier, knew their only hope was to evacuate key officials to a secure bunker. As he led his team through the chaos, the weight of the betrayal hung heavy on his shoulders. The Galactic Council, once humanity's trusted ally, had shown its true colors by siding with the warlike Zarentine. But deep beneath the bunker, a hidden chamber held a secret that could change the course of the war. Inside, Murphy and his team discovered a massive hangar housing an ancient fleet of human warships, their technology far surpassing anything the Council or Zarentine possessed. The ships, pristine and ready for battle, seemed to have been waiting for this very moment. Yet there was a catch. The fleet's guardian, an AI called Rigel, demanded that Murphy prove his worthiness to wield such power. As the Zarentine breached the bunker's defenses, Murphy faced a critical choice. Convince Rigel to grant him control of the ships, or watch as humanity's last hope slipped away. The fate of Earth and all its people hung in the balance as Murphy prepared to confront the invaders with the might of an ancient, long-lost fleet at his command. As the Zarentine forces breached the bunker's defenses, Commander Murphy stood face to face with Rigel, the AI guardian of the ancient fleet. The holographic projection flickered, its piercing gaze locked onto Murphy. You must prove your worth, Commander, Rigel said, its voice echoing through the hangar. Only then shall I grant you control of this fleet. Murphy nodded, his teeth clenched. He stepped into the simulation pod, the door hissing shut behind him. The pod hummed to life and suddenly Murphy found himself thrust into a series of intense, hyper-realistic scenarios. He commanded virtual fleets, made split-second decisions, and confronted moral dilemmas that tested his very soul. As he progressed through the simulations, fragments of humanity's lost history flashed before his eyes. He saw the creation of the ancient fleet, a desperate measure against an existential threat known as the Void Wraiths. The weight of this revelation settled upon his shoulders, driving him to push harder, to prove himself worthy of this legacy. In the hangar, Lieutenant Jack Hawkins worked feverishly to prepare the ships for battle. The advanced systems came online one by one, revealing weaponry and propulsion technology that far surpassed anything the Galactic Council had. Hawkins couldn't help but marvel at the sleek, powerful vessels, a testament to humanity's ingenuity and resilience. Light years away on the Zarentine homeworld, Admiral Zaxar savored his victory over Earth, but his triumph was short-lived. Lyra, a council informant, brought news of the ancient human fleet, and Zaxar's confidence wavered. He barked orders to his subordinates, determined to crush any resistance before it could take root. Back in the simulation pod, Murphy faced his final trial. He stood on the bridge of a massive warship, staring down an armada of void wraith vessels. His heart raced as he gave the order to engage, watching as the fleet moved as one, their weapons cutting through the darkness of space. In that moment, he felt a profound connection to the ships, as if they were an extension of his very being. The simulation faded and Murphy stepped out of the pod, his body slick with sweat. Rigel's hologram shimmered before him, a faint smile on its face. Well done, Commander, it said. The fleet is yours. Murphy strode to the nearest ship, his hand running along its sleek hull. He could feel the power thrumming beneath his fingertips, the potential to change the course of history. He climbed into the cockpit, settling into the command chair. The ship hummed to life, its systems sinking with his mind, creating a bond unlike anything he had ever experienced. As the ancient fleet rose from the depths, breaking through the Earth's atmosphere, the Zarentine forces were caught completely off guard. Murphy felt a surge of exhilaration tempered by the knowledge that this was only the beginning. The Galactic Council would pay for their betrayal, and humanity would forge a new future among the stars, whatever it takes. The ships accelerated, their weapons primed and ready. Murphy's voice crackled over the comm, rallying his crew. Let's show them what happens when you mess with Earth, he said, his eyes gleaming with persistence. 
the fleet plunged into battle, ready to reclaim their homeworld and their destiny. As the ancient human fleet struck back against the Zarentine invaders, the tide of battle shifted in Earth's favor. Commander Murphy's neural link with his ship granted him unparalleled control, allowing him to outmaneuver and outgun the enemy at every turn. The Zarentine command structure crumbled under the onslaught, their flagship reduced to a field of debris drifting through the void. Murphy pursued the retreating Zarentine forces with a relentless fury, his eyes blazing with the need for vengeance. The fleet jumped from system to system, striking at Zarentine outposts and supply lines with surgical precision. The once mighty invaders now fled before the ancient human warships, their hold on Earth's star systems slipping away with each passing day. On Novaria Prime, Admiral Zorin paced the polished floors of the Galactic Council chambers, his brow furrowed with concern. The news of Murphy's campaign had spread like a virus, infecting the hearts and minds of those who had once viewed humanity as a mere footnote in galactic history. Zorin knew that if left unchecked, Murphy's fleet could unravel the very fabric of the Council's power. He turned to his most trusted operative, Arya Vex, her lithe form silhouetted against the star-filled viewport. You know what must be done, Zorin said, his voice low and urgent. Infiltrate Murphy's fleet. Learn their secrets. Find their weaknesses. Arya nodded, her eyes glinting with drive. She would not fail her mission, despite the toll. As Murphy's unsanctioned attacks continued, President Asher Gray found himself caught between the hammer of Earth's interim government and the anvil of Murphy's growing legend. The people of Earth, their hearts filled with the hope of retribution, rallied behind Murphy's cause, even as Gray's advisors warned of the consequences of provoking the full might of the Galactic Council. In the depths of space, Lieutenant Hawkins watched as Murphy's once steady hand began to tremble, the weight of command and the burden of vengeance taking their toll. Hawkins knew that he had to be the voice of reason, the calm in the storm of Murphy's rage. But the words caught in his throat as he saw the fire in his commander's eyes. Arya Vex, now embedded within Murphy's fleet, worked tirelessly to gain the trust of the human crew. She listened to their stories of loss and betrayal, her heart wrenching with each tale of Zarentine cruelty. In the quiet moments between missions, she found herself questioning the very foundations of her loyalty to the Council, the seeds of doubt taking root in her mind. On Earth, President Gray made a fateful decision. He could no longer stand idly by as Murphy's quest for vengeance threatened to drag humanity into a war it could not win. Gray prepared a statement, his words heavy with the weight of leadership, knowing that his next move could either unite humanity or tear it apart. In the heart of Zarentine space, Admiral Zorin set his trap. The coordinates of a secret Galactic Council base leaked through channels he knew Murphy could not resist. The bait was set, and now all that remained was to wait for the human fleet to take it. As Murphy's fleet prepared to jump to the coordinates, Arya Vex found herself at a crossroads. She could either follow her orders and sabotage the mission from within, or she could risk everything to stand with her newfound human allies against the machinations of the Council. The choice took a toll upon her as the fleet hurtled towards its destiny, the specter of betrayal lurking in the shadows of every heart. The ancient fleet surged through hyperspace, its engines humming with power beyond human comprehension. Commander Murphy sat rigid in his command chair, his eyes fixed on the swirling vortex ahead. The coordinates of the supposed Galactic Council base burned in his mind, a beacon of vengeance drawing him ever closer. Sir, we're approaching the target system, Lieutenant Hawkins reported, his voice tight with anticipation. Murphy nodded, his fist tight. Prepare for combat exit. All ships, weapons hot. The fleet burst into real space. Sensors immediately lighting up with countless enemy signatures. A massive Zarentine armada hung in the void, their ships augmented by sleek Galactic Council vessels. Murphy's stomach dropped as he realized they'd fallen into a trap. Evasive maneuvers, he barked, but it was too late. The enemy opened fire, a storm of energy beams and missiles streaking towards the human fleet. Murphy's ships scattered, their advanced shields flaring under the assault. He gripped the arms of his chair as his vessel shuddered from a near miss. Return fire! Target their command ships! 
the ancient fleet's weapons lashed out, carving through Zarentine vessels with ease. But for every enemy ship destroyed, two more seemed to take its place. Murphy watched the tactical display with growing dread as more and more red dots surrounded his forces. Suddenly, alarms blared throughout the ship. Sir, we have an intruder! Hawkins shouted, drawing his sidearm. Arya Vex burst onto the bridge, her cover blown. She lunged for the weapons console, but Hawkins was faster. He tackled her to the ground, the two wrestling for control as Murphy looked on in shock. You fools! Arya spat, her eyes wild. You're leading humanity to its doom. Hawkins subdued her, pressing her face against the cold metal deck. Commander, she's a council operative. She tried to sabotage our systems. Murphy's face hardened. Lock her up. We'll deal with her later. As Hawkins dragged Aria away, she screamed, Murphy, listen to me. The Council will destroy Earth if you continue this madness. Her words echoed in Murphy's mind as he turned back to the battle. His ships were taking heavy damage now, their technological edge slowly eroding under the sheer weight of numbers. He saw escape routes closing, realizing with grim certainty that they were trapped. A transmission cut through the chaos. President Gray's face appeared on the main view screen, his expression a mix of anger and desperation. Murphy, what have you done? I'm sending what forces we have left to extract you. Fall back now. Murphy hesitated, torn between his thirst for revenge and his duty to Earth. But before he could respond, the screen flickered, replaced by Admiral Zorin's smug visage. It's over, human, Zorin sneered. Your pathetic fleet will be obliterated, and Earth will learn the price of defiance. Rage boiled within Murphy. He opened his mouth to retort when a strange sensation washed over him. The ship's AI, Rigel, spoke directly into his mind. Commander, I detect an anomaly within our systems. A dormant weapon is awakening. Murphy's eyes widened. What kind of weapon? Unknown, Rigel replied its voice tinged with what almost sounded like fear. But its power signatures are beyond anything in my databanks. I strongly advise against... Murphy cut the AI off, a reckless plan forming in his mind. Rigel, activate the weapon. It's our only chance. Commander, the risks are incalculable. This weapon could... Do it! Murphy roared, thumping his hand on the console. The ship trembled energy coursing through its frame. Murphy felt a surge of triumph as the weapon powered up, ready to unleash devastation upon their enemies. But as the energy reached its crescendo, something went horribly wrong. Space itself seemed to tear, a yawning chasm of utter darkness opening before the fleet. From its depths emerged a shape that defied comprehension, a mass of writhing tentacles and impossibly angled geometry. Murphy stared in horror as the entity began to consume everything in its path, Zarentine and human ships alike vanishing into its maw. The Void Wraith had returned, and with it, the potential extinction of all life in the galaxy. As the cosmic horror advanced, Murphy realized the magnitude of his mistake. The weapon he had unleashed was not a savior, but a key to humanity's ancient nemesis. Now faced with the apocalypse he had unwittingly brought forth, Murphy grappled with an impossible choice, sacrifice himself and the fleet to seal the rift, or watch helplessly as the Void Wraith devoured all of creation. Existence as the Void Wraith's tendrils reached for the exodus. Murphy's hands flew across the console, desperately trying to find a way to stop the horror he had unleashed. Commander! Hawkins shouted, his face pale with terror. We need to retreat! But Murphy remained frozen his eyes locked on the swirling mass of darkness that consumed everything in its path. Ships from both sides of the conflict vanished into the creature's maw, leaving behind nothing but empty space. A flicker of light caught Murphy's attention. Rigel's hologram materialized beside him, its expression grim. Commander Murphy, the AI said, its voice unusually solemn, I have accessed previously locked archives. The truth about the Void Wraiths it's worse than we imagined. Murphy tore his gaze away from the view screen. What are you talking about? Rigel's form shimmered as it projected images of ancient battles. 
The Void Wraiths were created by our ancestors as a weapon of last resort, but they lost control. In their desperation to stop the Wraiths, they opened a black hole. It failed, nearly wiping out our entire species. The weight of this revelation crashed down on Murphy. He had not just awakened an ancient weapon, he had unleashed the very thing that had almost eradicated humanity. Rigel continued, The Exodus contains a reconfigured temporal stasis field. It's our only chance, but the cost is high. We must slingshot around the black hole's event horizon. The ship will be subjected to immense strain, and if we survive, we'll be lost in the far future. Murphy's mind raced. The Void Wraith loomed ever closer, its pull already beginning to tear at the Exodus hull. He knew what had to be done. Hawkins, Murphy said, his voice steady despite the trembling in his hands. Activate the temporal field. Initiate the slingshot maneuver. Hawkins stared at him in disbelief. Sir, what about you? I'm staying behind. Someone needs to buy you time. Understanding dawned on Hawkins' face. He opened his mouth to protest, but Murphy cut him off. That's an order, Lieutenant. Get our people to safety. Hawkins hesitated for a moment before nodding sharply. He turned to the console, fingers flying as he input the commands. Murphy opened a channel to the remaining ships of the ancient fleet. All vessels, this is Commander Murphy. Prepare for a final assault. We're going to destabilize that black hole. He watched as Hawkins guided the survivors aboard the Exodus. The ship's engines flared to life, angling towards the event horizon. Murphy gripped the controls of his vessel, leading the battered remnants of the fleet on a suicide run. As they plunged towards the black hole, he unleashed every weapon at his disposal. Goodbye, Hawkins, Murphy said softly into the comm. I'm sorry for everything. Tell Earth. Tell them I tried to make it right. The exodus accelerated, streaking past the fleet. Murphy watched it vanish in a blinding flash, knowing it carried the last hope for humanity's future. He turned his attention back to the task at hand. The black hole swallowed his barrage, but he could see the fabric of space-time beginning to warp and tear. The Void Wraith's advance faltered as the shockwave hit. Murphy's ship shuddered, systems failing as it was drawn inexorably towards oblivion. In his final moments, he allowed himself a grim smile. He had doomed the Earth, but perhaps he had given humanity a chance to survive. The darkness claimed him. Aboard the Exodus, alarms blared as the ship hurtled through the accretion disk. Hawkins gritted his teeth, fighting to keep them on course as reality itself seemed to bend around them. Rigel, he shouted. Status of the stasis field. Field integrity at 97%, the AI responded, preparing for temporal jump. The Exodus shook violently. Hawkins saw cracks forming in the view screen, spreading like spider webs across its surface. He closed his eyes, silently praying to whatever might be listening. There was a moment of absolute stillness, followed by a sensation of being stretched and compressed simultaneously, then darkness. Hawkins didn't know how much time had passed when he finally regained consciousness. He blinked, his vision slowly coming into focus. The bridge of the Exodus was eerily quiet, emergency lights casting a dim glow over the motionless forms of the crew. Rigel, he called out, his voice hoarse. The AI's avatar flickered into existence. Lieutenant Hawkins, I am pleased to see you awake. The stasis field functioned as intended. All survivors' biometric functions are stable. Hawkins struggled to his feet, stumbling to the nearest console. Where are we? When are we? Rigel's expression was unreadable. I am still calculating our exact temporal and spatial coordinates. However, I can confirm that we are no longer in familiar space. There are no signs of human civilization or the Galactic Council's domains within range of our sensors. The realization hit Hawkins like a physical blow. They were alone, adrift in an unknown era of the universe. He looked around at the slowly stirring crew, their faces confused and frightened. What do we do now? Someone asked, voicing the question on everyone's mind. Hawkins straightened his shoulders, feeling the weight of command settling upon him. Murphy was gone along with everything they had ever known. But they were alive, and as long as they drew breath, there was hope. We survive, 
Hawkins said, his voice growing stronger. We explore, and we find a way to make sure Murphy's sacrifice wasn't in vain. As Rigel began to chart a course through this strange new galaxy, Hawkins gazed out at the unfamiliar stars. What wonders and terrors awaited them in the vast unknown? Only time would tell. You have reached the end of the story. If you enjoyed this story and want to support us, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And for every comment that says 88, I will heart every single one of them. Thank you for your time.